I'm Sharon Malone. I am the principal at Adams Traditional Academy in Phoenix, Arizona. Because the way we teach Spalding at all grade levels is just good language arts teaching. So our kindergartners who come in knowing very little English, where are we going to start? Teaching the sounds. Well, we're doing that with every kindergartner. And then Spalding is very visual. It's tactile. It's auditory. What do you do when you teach ELL children? You make sure that it's visual, auditory, and tactile. The other thing that we're finding is even just using the Spalding manual, it's good ELL teaching. So if you're introducing vocabulary, what does the teacher do? She starts by writing the word on the board, the children sound it out, and then she models. So if the word, for example, in kindergarten were the word pair, P-A-I-R, the teacher would write the word on the board, she'd give the definition, and then most importantly, she would model it in a sentence. I have a pair of shoes. Then whole class, ELL children, regular children. She's saying, what else comes in pairs? So now our ELL child has had 20 exposures to the definition of pair. And then we go to the next step. Can you now use it in a sentence, orally? So by the time we get to our ELL child, that child has heard multiple sentences and is capable of creating one of their own. And then we move to writing. So it is a total integration. Years and years ago, I talked to someone uh, from Washington, D.C., who was in charge of looking at English language learning programs. And she said to me, Spalding is the best method that you can use. I'm familiar with it. It works. So we're finding here that it works. In the middle and upper grades, it's the same thing. You pull them aside for a while, you teach them those phonograms, and then they're able to learn along with the rest of the class. So I'm finding it for our school a real blessing, and our children are being successful. We reclassify children um, at an amazing rate. Spalding does it all. It works. All as you really have to do is give those children a little more support. It takes them a little longer. So if you're working at it in the classroom, then make sure that there's some tutoring available. But you're teaching the same thing. Why go through the time and realistically the expense and the hiring of specialists when a well-trained Spalding teacher can do it and do it well?